Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. We're all last night. Two hours. I can't... I, 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 I don't know how to say what I feel. Oh, no. Because I don't really want to say... Uh, no. Listen, I'll just put it this way, okay? The three-hour shows were much better than the last two weeks. I'm not no! saying I'm not saying I want it to be three hours again, but the three-hour shows were much better than the last two weeks. And l last night's show was even worse. Like, first week was just like, it was live, and they're just trying to jam everything in there because, you know, it's just everything we talked about. And then, like, this week, the problem was it was an extra whatever and the crowd was tired and they didn't it was bother taped last week you know it's funny the last raw for people who didn't know you know what's funny is the usual suspects are always like oh all the crowd sweetening in wwe all this on these light like <laughs> i know it's like a fun thing to say that they crowd sweeten live shows i'm sure there's a little bit here and there but brother they had a week a week to do crowd sweetening for this Raw Monday night, they did none. Absolutely zilch. And I'm watching this show, and the crowd's tired, and it's like, this show felt like a taped show. And I've watched a lot of taped shows that felt like live shows. This was not one of them. Video package, video package, video package, match, quiet crowd, like, oh my God, is this, it was like. It was it, running in place. It was. But they actually and did stuff on the show, but it was not. Anyway. It's a, it's going to be, yeah, nobody will remember it. It's a bump in the machine. It's a show that was basically used where they're going to be able to take video from it for the video package they'll show next week and before the pay-per-view. I mean, that's kind of all it was. There's no reason to go back and really rewatch this for any reason you know uh, if tiffany stratton uh and nia Jax being involved in the mix i guess there was that there was cody and gunther facing off and uh, i mean really from there i mean how much more was there that that really matters unless you really want to get into jakara jackson and lash legend apparently their series is going to continue against bianca and jade so we had uh rhea ripley coming out she wanted by to live. The, by the way, does that mean that all of Metaphor would be raw if they were called up? Since well, Chikara of course, and... of course. But they okay. they were on SmackDown too, so they could be on any show they want. If they win the tag titles, they can still be on any show they want. Uh, and that's true. They were in the crowd, so yes. So well, on SmackDown they actually wrestled. This well, week yes, they were in the but crowd. Now they're in the crowd. So. Well, now they're going to wrestle because they're going to wrestle Damage Control. So they're wrestling on both shows because it is a soft brand split. And it is miles better than Vince's stupid hard brand split, which never worked. Where am I? It's interesting that you, you know, kind of... What? Get a little, uh, up, you know, not real happy here with them shoving everything into a show and not being able to utilize, you know, everybody that they could be right now. Yeah, Raw and, is... Raw but is... They bring up... But they bring up Jakara, and, like, is Jakara and Lash, are they needed to face damage control? I mean, couldn't you have done that match in NXT and actually helped out NXT on CW with EO and Kyrie? Well, they are there? having people go down there, but they also wanted to give these guys some exposure on the main roster. Yeah. But, yeah, my, my issue with Raw is Raw now has the same problem Dynamite has. Way too many talent, way too much talent for a two-hour show, and they can't get everybody on there, and so... People just aren't on the show or they have to rush segments or whatever. Like, it's different. With Dynamite, they want the segments to all have a lot of time. And so people just aren't on the show every week. Like, is Will Ospreay on the show tomorrow? I don't know. Is MJF on the show tomorrow? I don't know. But what I do know is when I watch Raw, Miz will be there. Truth's going to be there. Judgment Day is going to be there. So in, because of the way they do things, you don't know who's going to be on Dynamite. But everyone who is on Dynamite is going to get a lot of time. On Raw, you don't you do know it's gonna be on Raw, but they're all gonna get shorter time because they have to jam three hours worth of talent into a two hour show. Neither of these are ideal. They should not have this problem with pacing. I'm surprised that they do if that's actually Well they have to what figure they have to figure out what to do because they've had for twelve years they've had three hours 
for a three-hour roster. I know. And then Be- suddenly one week they have a two-hour show. I guess so, but I mean, for heaven's sakes, we've praised Lee Fitting and the guys who have come over from ESPN. We have a company that is not... I mean, they do a two-hour show every Friday. They I know, but they have a two-hour Tuesday. But they have a two-hour roster on Friday. They have a two-hour roster on Tuesday. They have a three-hour roster on Monday, which is now a two-hour show. They drafted more people there. Uh, they they've got again. one third more people. They've been using one third more people for the last twelve years, and suddenly they have to use that many people on a show with one-third less time. So it is actually an issue. You can't say, well, they they do fine on Tuesday and Friday. Why can't they do fine on... on..." Well, they could if one-third of the roster is just no longer used. No, that's not... But they've been in storylines. But that's not true, though. Look, you don't actually have to do... Number one, you're going into a show in Saudi Arabia where you're going to have both brands anyway. So you're going to bring over a Gunther anyway... You're going to have that situation where he's taking time away from somebody else that, you know, or Cody Rhodes coming over. He's going to take some time away from somebody else who could be going up against Gunther. You know what I mean? So you're leading into a pay-per-view anyway where you're going to have it combined and not everybody is going to be on it. So I, I, to me... You cannot have the final testament on one week. It's not going to destroy the storyline or anything like that. It can just pick back up, do some stuff on social media, and then it can be on the next week's show. We didn't have a Bronson Reed match on here. I would have rather have seen that than The Miz in in R-Truth. I would have rather have seen that than, you know, again, the War Raiders coming back. Could have been a quick squash over somebody else as opposed to Akira Tozawa in Otis where they're wrestling around with each other. They could have just came out, destroyed two people, and left, and that could have made an impact. So there's ways that they could have formatted the show, and there's segments they could have done that could have featured some more people. I just, again, why they're having an issue with that, if that's what it is, I don't know. It shouldn't be that difficult. Well, it is that difficult at this point. Apparently. Sports says NXT has the best pacing. It does not. No, well. The, the, two, the, two best, <laughs> the, the two best paced shows in wrestling are Dynamite, and SmackDown, those are the I don't two know best. About Dynamite. No, Dynamite Smackdown is. SmackDown is. They give they give everyone plenty of time on Dynamite. I mean, the issue is you yeah, don't get they, everybody every week. But, no, but they have had plenty of time shoved eighty eight pounds into a five. Well, sometimes bag. they have that long overrun, which is is useless ninety percent of the time. No, but two to back type of segments and too too much going on with qu- interviews well, listen, and this and that. It's not I, perfect, bro. But I'm saying the two best are SmackDown and Dynamite. What about well, Raw when it was three hours? Raw when three hours was well paced. Yes, it was better too or long. Worse than Dynamite. It was too long, but it was well paced. Probably better, a little bit better. Be- better or worse than SmackDown? But the pro- no, no, SmackDown's the best. Is. SmackDown is the easiest show in the world to watch. Collision is so- somewhat well paced, but like you'll still get you know thirty five minutes for a main event, which is just like some of those main events do not need a thirty five minute segment. No. And then NXT, like I like watching NXT, but my God. <laughs> it's not as bad as it used to be like a year ago. I'd be trying to take notes, and I was like, this is the 33rd segment on this show. How many segments do we need in a two-hour show? They do it a lot less now, so that's that's good. They've NXT cut down on it. It's a crapshoot as far as what you're going to get, because sometimes it's paced great, but there's so much ridiculous stuff going on. Other times, I mean, it's just it is a wrestling university. It is a unique show. So anyway, uh, the notable things on the show were we had Bianca and Jade beating Damage Control when Jakara and Lash interfered. So that's going to be Damage Control versus Lash and Jakara down the road. Braun Breaker faces Jey Uso for the title next week. So it's funny. The first time they wrestled, I was like, you know what? It's time for Jay to get that big win. It is not time for Braun to lose. And now they're doing the rematch quickly, and it's like, it's not time for Jay to lose, but Braun <laughs> needs to win. So I don't know what they're going to do. I figure it'll be something involving the bloodline and, and everything. Maybe Braun will win it back and, you know, uh, actually, you know what? Braun could win it back when the Solo's crew cost Jay the title. That's what convinces Jay to get back together with Roman and Jimmy to take out the bloodline. I could see them doing that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That there. makes then, sense. What do you do with Braun after that? Go back to Sammy? He's, what he's the champion. Or? He just ruins people. Just hey, keep you, killing dudes. Can I see Bronson Reed against Braun Breaker at some point, please? I don't want to beat either of them, so no. 
Ron killed Kofi. We had that Truth and Miz segment where <laughs> Truth pins Miz immediately and then the final testament all beats him up and throws him into Miz. Hey, you know, I, I, I'm over the Miz, but let me tell you something. Oh, boy. The idea of Miz, like, becoming a grungy Final Testament bloke <laughs> sounds awesome. So he needs something, something, dude. I've seen this same act since 2002. It's time for something. Grow his hair out a little bit. You know, take off the suit and put on a flannel. Something. I don't mean to Give be Give me something mean, different. Because obviously he can still physically go in the ring and all that sort of he stuff. He can? Well, what are we talking whether, about whether either you or I want to see him again, or, or is a different story. But yeah, like, grow a beard. Does does you know doesn't somebody need help in public relations? You know, does Titus O'Neil need some help? I've heard the Miz do commentary, and I don't think he would be great in that role. You know, maybe he could grow into it, but like him going out to do interviews, him in the fantasy football league over here, him doing this or that, like he's unbelievably great at that and i wish there was a way frankly just being selfish to sunset his in-ring career and let him go out and do what he's actually great at doing all that pr stuff for wwe because yeah i i mean i hope they can do something here with the final testament other than you know what's he gonna do sit back and hang out with paul elring and be the yeah. second person person in that group this person says the final judgment is bland hold on a second what is Miz doing the same gimmick in 2024? Final judgment. That's not bland? <laughs> Actually, you Grow know a beard. The grow the hair out. Put on some eyeliner. Get a flannel. Put on some combat boots. This is the... This is... It'll have to, he'll have to be... Uh, I'll think of a new name. It can't be the Miz. It'll have to well, be like... Remember, uh, remember what happened last week? When he was cutting the interview and he said it was about me, that Bray Wyatt thing flashed up about, like, you know, the real you or whatever it is. So it's probably going to be uh, the uh, whatever the hell they are, Karrion Cross's group there, and they can all brawl with the Wyatts. Mizanin, Mizan, Mizanilator. It got to be something, brother. I got to think of something. Back in a moment, Observer Live. See, he's Karrion Cross. Mm -hmm. So that's to be something Death related. Oh, I thought biblical. Murder Mizanin. Been looking up some some synonyms. Massacre Mizanin. What else do we have? Mortality Mizanin. <laughs> Mortality Mizanin. <laughs> Mort Mizanin. <laughs> well, we already had Mort Mortis. We can't really do Mort. I mean, you could. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.